Hey everyone, welcome to this segment on how customs should fit. Today we're talking about the waist, one of the three most important measurements of the entire actual fit. And we have Nathan here helping us out with some great seersucker pants and a double high waistband to actually accent and show what it looks like. So how should the waist fit properly? We want the waist to fit up above the hip bones and nice and snug around the actual waist. That's for two reasons. One, the snugness around the waist, make sure it doesn't fall down below the hip bones. And the hip bones themselves, with the waist being above it, are our natural allies of our body, helping the waist stay up there. This is so incredibly important because when it comes to everything else in the trouser that we wanna get right, seat, thigh, knee, calf bottom, and especially the length that so many of our clients love to kind of nitpick and really get right, all that gets compromised and thrown out the window if the waist, as on Nathan here, doesn't fit correctly or is too loose and just slides down over the hips, which is very easy to happen as soon as someone sits down or stands up. So the quirky, corny analogy here is if you've ever been to um, you know, a fair or anything like that where they have a hula hoop and a big thing of bubble soap and you pull up the hula hoop and the bubble comes up with it, as long as it's sitting there, you're good and it sits reliably, but as soon as it falls out of proportion or falls below, the whole bubble bursts. So everything down below totally goes out the window at that point. Um, if you wanna learn more, jump into the master class where we talk over more on the waist and everything else. And I hope this, enjoy, I hope this helps you with your fits moving forward. Enjoy.